Hi everyone, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing the second Dollar Tree Student Planner tutorial that I mentioned in my last video. Super excited to finally have these going up. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to those of you who have asked for this video. I recently picked this student planner up from the Dollar Tree. If you aren't aware, I have a tutorial on my channel where I show how I like to recover and repurpose a specific calendar that the Dollar Tree comes out with around this time of year. I will definitely link that tutorial in the description box below. I go into more detail in that video as to how I recover and the sizes and measurements and everything more than you will find here in this video. So check that out if you're interested. Today I'm also using a calendar that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. This calendar is called Follow Your Dreams. I really love some of the prints in here. I'm also using a paper stack that matches my design nicely that I picked up a Tuesday morning called Bella Rouge. I'm going to use some washi from my stash and then the magic for this planner. I'm going to use five of these binder rings that I picked up at the Dollar Tree as well. I wanted to recreate something that kind of reminded me of the Happy Planner. Something that I could open up, remove the pages, change out covers, add more papers to my layout. I think this really works and I'm so excited about it. I didn't get too fancy decorating my covers in this video because of my last video where I spend more time doing that. If you haven't seen that and want to check it out, I will also include a link in the description box below for that video. If you don't have a laminator, don't feel like you can't do this project. Laminating definitely helps the covers last longer, but it isn't required. Here I am just playing around and eyeballing where I'm going to make my holes to add the binder rings. I ended up with five rings about two inches apart. First I found the center, then I found where I wanted to punch my hole on the top and the bottom, and then I measured between them. 
If you aren't someone who has much success without a ruler, measure your cover and just do the math and make your punches even. To punch the pages of the calendar, I just line them up and use the cover as a guide. As many pages as my punch will allow me to punch at once, <laughs> that's what I do. Not a very patient person. <laughs> once I have them all punched, I put it in place and thread the rings through the holes. I decided to do a quick layout on the month of September just to give everyone an idea of what I was going for here. I just used a little washi on my pages. The heart of my idea with this calendar are all of the options we have for adding papers and things to the binder rings permanently. In my monthly Dollar Tree Plan With Me videos, I always have to tape in the paper to the center of my calendar, which works, but this definitely adds more possibilities. I'm just adding a piece of paper that I cut to fit, an envelope, and a tag. You could even create weekly pages here and stick them in your calendar. There's really no limit. We can get really creative with this. And the part that I think is fun, the book will never get too thick. The rings are large enough to hold all kinds of things and I think the thicker the calendar grows, the more fun it is. But then again, I really like thick books. <laughs> On that note, you could even add bigger binder rings if you wanted or smaller ones if you're more of a minimalist.
one more little addition with all these rings this calendar is begging for a tassel <laughs> I honestly think it's begging for a lot more than just one tassel but I'm only going to make that for this video I just picked a few ribbons and fiber that matched my cover with all these rings guys just think about all the fun goodies we could add to them And that is it for this DIY guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you all next time. Bye!